Hey everybody, this is a Grumpy Old Guy Gaming, and today we are looking at Tiny Toon Adventures for the Nintendo. Let's see our little opening here. Buster Bunny's watching TV, Montana Max appears on the screen and says, Hey Buster, I've kidnapped Babs Bunny. I'm not a voice actor at all, so we're just going to roll with this. See Babs sitting there suspended high above a shark. And uh, Montana Max is daring Buster to come get her, so of course he has to. And that's our little intro to the game. Nice, simple hook to play. I'm going to head in here. See there's Buster on the world map going to stage one. And here we're going to meet Shirley the Loon. She is a fortune teller, asking us to choose our partner. Use the control pad, and then we get to press the A button to decide. I think I'm going to go with Plucky. So it's a pretty standard platformer. You run, you jump. You could step on the enemy's heads. We'll bounce off them, I guess. Balloons are going to offer you uh, little power-ups and things. Want to collect, uh... Want to collect these carrots hanging in the air as we go. It's not a one-hit death, it's actually a two-hit death game here, so... Trying to be a little careful on my timing. That little red rubber ball is going to switch us between characters. As you can see, I don't know what Buster's ability is, but Plucky has the ability he could jump as normal, or if you keep hitting the A button while he's in air, he flaps and he kind of hovers. Which makes him very, very useful for platformers, because he could just evade so easily, and jumps all of a sudden are just not a problem. Get to the end of the level, and we collected all 40 carrots there. That was nice and quick. See the little vulture guy? flying there in the scenery. Stage two here. Drop down right on that guy's head. There we go. Didn't quite feel safe adv advancing straight forward there. Just gonna let that ball bounce away because um, I'm doing pretty darn good as Plucky here. Get out of the way. See a little door down there. Let's go ahead and check that out. Ah, it's Hampton. Hampton says collect as many carrots as possible. You'll get an extra player if you collect 30 carrots. Well, we got 62 so far. That's a good sign. There you go, we're up to we're up to four lives. And that's something. Big old jump there. Not a problem. Wait for him to jump. See the muscle dog. Throwing all sorts of dumbbells at us. And that's stage two down. Pretty good, huh? Oh, now we gotta deal with Elmira. Well, that's no good. Apparently it's one hit death on the boss. Did we have to go the whole way back to the beginning? Yeah, yeah we did. Not quite sure what to do there. Oh, let's try Dizzy. The Tasmanian Devil alternate. Start pauses. Really not sure how to access that heart, actually. Yeah, I know, I missed a couple carrots there. Okay, Dizzy can obviously, you know, spin. Maybe he'll be our key here. 
so goofy, his jump. It's like his entire body is his mouth, which is a beautiful design choice if you think about it. Just slide right through the door there. Kind of a really neat game, nice and simple. Sounds like we got another life up on points there. Oof. Almost jumped right into the rat. That would have been bad. Make our way up. That's 52. Just did have enough to uh, get across there. Nice. You can get a little bounce jump there, too. Okay. Important things to keep in mind. We're at 59 carats. Go ahead and say hi to Hampton again. Really wish there was a way to speed through this text, I'm not gonna lie. How many carrots do we have? It's only gonna give us one life. We're cool with that. Try to get more. Yeah, okay. Very bossy, that in Hampton. Oh! Okay, we need the heart there for our second hit. Got it. That makes sense. Wait for the rat guy to bounce. Okay, there we are. Now let's try spinning through here. Well, that did nothing. Just going to avoid her like the plague here. Okay, you just have to dodge her until the exit shows up. Okay, that makes... That makes as much sense as it doesn't. Kind of a weird boss fight, but we'll roll with it. Now we're in this little dark area, like a basement. Very Castlevania-ish looking. Got a balloon there. Let's go ahead and switch back to Buster. Really not sure what Buster's whole deal is. He doesn't have a jump ability. Does he run? Yeah, I guess he runs faster with B. Of course, I didn't test it to see if others do as well. I got taken out by a jack-o'-lantern ghost thing there. That was not smart of me. Wow. Yeah, that heart's kind of vital. Um, just an awful jump by me there. Oh, let's switch back to Taz. Dizzy, sorry. I remember the Tiny Toons, I'm just... That was dumb of me, why did I just blindly rush forward? Okay, this time I swear, get my head in the game. Gonna keep with Dizzy. Okay, there we go. Let's jump right over. Oh, just did. Okay. I thought I had clearance on that. That was fair, though. It's not like it didn't look close enough to have been a hit. So when we get to that rat, we definitely gotta take it out. Jump up. Okay, now he's gone. It's gonna make life a lot easier for us on that jump, and all of a sudden a lot less easy as that pumpkin ghost nearly took us out. Back to these steps. Okay, that one's not doing the whole wavy pattern, it's just kinda stalking us. Oh, and they're coming out of the window like that. That's fair. Now the rats are jumping on the stairs. This is probably going to drop. Yep. Okay, so we have to kind of bait those out. We're cool with that. 
move up these stairs here. Oh, was not expecting that. Okay. Takes us all the way back to the beginning. And why not? The beginning was such wholesome fun. Work our way up here. Bop him out of the road. ghost is going to come down. That ghost is going to come down. Now we got the jumping rats. Boom. Got to bait these little toothy suckers out. And we come up here and we're going to have the little blue ghost guys materializing. Oh! Come on! That did not seem fair, did it? That's the first one I'll complain about. That really did not seem fair. It's a very tight window. Okay. I guess maybe it could respawn there if I leave the pumpkin head out. Oh, just dumb of me. I forgot about that window that time. So yeah, running out of lives in a hurry here. Only got one... Only got one player left, and, uh... Kinda makes me feel kinda dumb for sitting there at 59 carats. And even dumber for just sitting there and taking that death. Last life now. Got to at least get as far as we did previously. Let's go ahead and take Buster for this. If we're going down, we're going down as the main character. Jump up, get rid of those guys. Take care of the rat. Slide through. No worries dodging the little ghosty. Oh, come on, I had that jump. So that's the game over screen, and that was, uh, that was Tiny Toons for the NES. Fun game. Definitely one I want to come back to at another time, but I think that's a real good look at the first couple levels. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Take care, and we'll see you around.